Okay, I'm going to show you how to tie the full Windsor knot. And I've picked out one of my favorite ties. And I've draped it around my neck. And I have the seam side against my body. And you're also going to want to have the right side have a few feet of length of the tie. And the left side have a small end, just five to six inches. Now, you're going to bring the big end over the small end and pinch. Now you're going to bring this dangling big end up and through this gap right here and to the left of the knot. Kind of get your left hand out of the way though. Make sure you keep pinching everything to keep this tie knot in good shape. Now with the big end, you're going to wrap it behind the knot and then go down this gap and to the right of the knot. Keep pinching and holding everything. You don't want to lose the small end because later the small end will bring your tie knot up to your neck. Okay, so your big end is dangling on the right side of the knot. Now you need to go from right to left over the knot. So now it's dangling on the left side. And now you need to bring it up this gap. Then you need to go through this loop you've made, right through here. You're almost done. Now you pull down on the this end, this big end, to tighten the knot. And you hold on to the small end and pull that down to bring the knot up. On the corners of the knot right here, you can either widen your knot out if you like a big old wide knot. I like a nice, nice tight knot there, so you bring those corners down, pull down on the big end, just shape the tie, pull down the small end to bring the tie knot up, pull your collar down, and you're looking good.